hold both of them both simultaneously and wait to what's good y'all hit the like button make sure you guys subscribe got a package package came in the mail I want to keep it on this side uh maybe i should sell off my address and everything basically i ordered me a a uh uh a tour to reprogram uh tire sensors for uh gm cars i think go from like years from 2007 all the way up to your most recent cars probably it works with um my boy uses this on the uh where he works at at chevy and I did see and another YouTuber, I'm going to say no names, in the video, uh, he directed this tool to be used. So, nobody's getting a shout out. I'm not mentioning no names. It is what it is. I'm going to be installing a tire sensor in the 2011 Chevy Impala. And uh, pretty much this is it right here. VXDAS, whatever it's called. Uh, this one was about $16.89. Um, I got Amazon Prime, so everything came to about, to about $18 something. It was a uh, two-day shipping. So, uh, reason why I got this, because I need it. That's why I bought it. Um, I could easily tell my boy I don't do tire pressure sensors. But being as though this tool was uh, inexpensive, I thought, like, we why don't you just go ahead and buy it? Uh, this tool, $16.99, can turn into a lot of money. I can make, on, on the turnaround, I can make me uh, a lot of money in return, definitely, in duty. So, now I could do uh, tire pressure uh, sensors definitely on a uh, General Motors car, so it could be like a Caddy, Chevy, Pontiac, Buick, GMC, whatever. I don't know what you driving. This could work for if it falls in within its range. So I want to demonstrate as I put well as I put the tire sensor on. Definitely, I'm going to show you guys how uh, I, I pretty much just uh, using this tool, and then I definitely leave links below and everything for you guys to uh, cop up on this tool. So make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe and uh, give me one second. Okay, so I was able to get the uh, tire sensor uh, installed. Um, before you do these, make sure you relearn them uh, back to wherever the wheels are. And then go over each wheel so you can see uh, which ones is out. If one don't read, you got another one that don't read, then you know how many uh, else you got to replace. So uh, I replaced the one that was necessary. It was in the wrong spot. I had to go back and I'm just letting you know just to check them first. And then replace the one which ones is bad and then when you're ready then you go with the uh relearn uh process so i'm looking for uh the key i had if you give me one second to, to find this key all right now how's this work is um some of these cars you can do it within a screen and pressing a couple buttons i know like on a chevy cruise or like a new model or something like that just toggle through the uh, selector on the turn signal switch until you get to the screen then hit relearn um on this model and in particular and it's worse with the Malibus and the cobalts and stuff and a couple other beeps or whatever uh you want to put the key in ignition and then put it on key on engine off and then you want to press the uh you want to press the lock button and then lock button and then the uh unlock button both at the same time until you see on the display uh that the uh learning procedure is uh active so go ahead key on engine off i'm gonna turn my lights off so i don't kill my battery and i'm gonna put this fob up here i'm gonna do this all with one hand hold both of them both simultaneously and wait till it shows and then when it beep grab my tool then um second you'll notice on uh each light there's a uh a, like a marker indicator uh these orange ones on the front the amber ones uh see how this one is illuminated a little brighter uh, then this one, this is just to let you know uh, which tire to start from. So we're going to start from here. And every time you learn one, the light will loom up and so forth and go back to the other wheel. So you'll see a light indication. So you start from the left front and it's pretty simple. You just hit the button and um, it's going to flash green or whatever. This does let you know if it's a uh, low battery. By the way, it's, uh, it's a non-volt battery. By now, you already know that the one you use for like your walking talk is a smoke detector. So I ain't going to waste no time because I'm in the initiation process. It will kick out after a while. So... Put it close to the stem. I like to put it on the tire, like where the stem is, and go ahead and until it beep. Then I want to go to the uh, the next wheel down here, 
And you want to keep going to it'll let you know when it's complete because it'll make that uh it'll make that chirp and knock that over. Come on, here we go. Then I got one more in the back. So basically you want to do this after every time you rotate the tires, installing the sensor, this work. If you just rotating tires, then you don't need this tool. But if you need to install a new sensor, this is a quick way to get it uh, registered. So I'm gonna go ahead next to the stem. Hold on, I'm doing something. All right, that beep. So it made a double chirp noise. So basically I'm all done. Looks like I've been pretty much changed it over to metric. So go ahead and get out of here. So wanna, you see left front, right front, left rear. Right rear, I'm good. I just got to go on each uh, tire and adjust the pressures to where uh, they're supposed to be. But for the most part, I'm good. I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, reset this uh, this uh, oil light. If I can get back. And Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe. If you want to send me something, leak auto repair. Uh, uh, parentheses, PO Box number 4, Lands MPA 19050. Uh, anybody you want leak auto repair shirts, you know what to do. I'm trying to find the uh, screen for the... Uh, oil light reset all right so it looks like i'm already reset because i had to hold on to the uh, check so i'm good so i'm pretty much done with that so yeah follow everything in the screen shirts car questions whatever product reviews follow me on instagram send me stuff whatever i'll highlight y'all so yeah just wanted to pretty much verify the uh the repair let y'all know that uh this cool uh device works so like i said i paid on amazon i'll leave a link for you to click on i paid 16.99 i guess at the taxes and fees or whatever it was 18 something and like i said I got Amazon Prime, so it took me two days to receive it. So I'm pretty much cool. So let me get this uh, oil sticker up on this windshield, and I'm getting out of here. I'll holler at y'all.